Hi, I'm Taka Kubota. I'm a PhD student at the University of Delaware, Department of Material Science and Engineering, doing some exciting research at the Center for Composite Materials. I'm working with an exciting new class of material called Tuff, which was developed at the University of Delaware. We take short carbon fibers, align them, and create blanks which can be stamped like sheet metal while achieving continuous fiber composite properties. This capability is revolutionary because for the first time, we can create aerospace grade composites which are 40 to 70% lighter than conventional materials and make these parts at rates and prices comparable to the automotive industry. Furthermore, we're also looking to use this technology to address the composite waste problem. Tuff has the potential of taking the nearly 4 million pounds of scrap prepreg generated annually to make composite airplanes, reclaim the fibers, and upcycle them into more aerospace grade parts. Let's take a closer look at what we're planning on doing with Tuff and how this can impact your life in the near future. Materials have always played a role in the things that are made from them. The better the materials, the better the product. When materials improve, products improve. The history of technology is an evolution of improved materials to improved products, to the point that distinct ages of human history have been named after materials commonly used at the time. The stone, bronze, and iron ages, for example. Later, the use of steel changed the face of what could be physically built towards the end of the 19th century, quickly changing the face of the globe. The next phase of new materials development that may change the way things are made is being developed at the University of Delaware's Center for Composite Materials, or CCM, who have created the world's strongest short fiber composite material that can be stamped into complex shapes. This new material is called Tuff, or Tailored Universal Feedstock for Forming. It is recyclable. You can treat it like steel, it can be molded like sheet metal, and it can stretch up to 50% and Tuff has properties equivalent to fiber composites used in aerospace applications. The process begins with simple bundles of short carbon fibers, which are then dispersed into a liquid, which separates them into individual filaments. At this point, the elements are brought back together and very highly aligned sheets of fiber are made. Then polymer is added to the fiber sheet form, and then you have Tuff. Researchers are working on ways to apply this core technology to enable the transportation systems of tomorrow, including Tough Partners, Joby Aviation, and Spirit Aero Systems. For example, in order to vertically take off and land in urban areas, flying taxis will require ultra-lightweight materials typically used for aerospace applications. One barrier to this emerging urban air mobility, or UAM market, is that there is currently no manufacturing process in place to handle creating aerospace-grade hardware at speeds and costs of other automotive parts. The University Leadership Initiative addresses technology barriers in manufacturing of complex geometry composite parts for UAM and commercial air platforms, and in 2020 instituted a four-year program with CCM to help further develop technology and its manufacturing methods. The ULI research goals with Tuff are to develop physics-based modeling and simulation tools for aerospace and UAM applications, including work in the physics of fiber alignment, microstructural design of mechanical properties, thin ply effects on laminate properties, the micromechanics of forming, constitutive models and forming limits, process modeling for complex geometry parts, and of course, experimental validation. This will mature to part design and manufacturing with the goal of developing cost models. CCM researchers are currently focused on developing modeling and simulation tools to design the material, the manufacturing process and the parts using tough materials through $5.9 million in project funding from NASA's ULI. The project, led at UD by Jack Gillespie, leverages CCM's 9,000 square foot tough integrated pilot manufacturing facility and includes collaboration with industry partners Joby Aviation, Spirit Aerosystems, and Advanced Thermoplastics Composites Manufacturing as well as with colleagues at Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The ULI technology transfer and educational goals also include as a priority to transition part of the manufacturing technology to partners' facilities, develop and demonstrate part manufacturing at rate, and to integrate simulation tools into commercial tools to promote widespread dissemination and use. CCM researchers are also exploring ways to reuse recycled composite material fibers. In one project, researchers are taking outdated airplane parts that have been chopped into short fibers and recombining them to make the same material, or a better one, again. Current efforts are demonstrating that the recycling of tough meets the green economy goals of 70% energy reduction and 90% retention of properties. 
With Tuff, it is possible to take a product that is at the end of its material lifespan, break the material down to its components, realign the carbon fibers, and create the same material with the same properties and the same or better value, helping generate huge cost savings. From an energy perspective, the embodied energy cost of the material is dramatically reduced over its lifetime. Tough is a great success story for UD and for federally funded research, as all of these new projects have spun out of one core technology, Tough. It also is a great example of interdisciplinary collaboration at work, since the project includes contributions from researchers with expertise in material and mechanical engineering, material science and engineering, civil engineering, electrical and computer engineering, and CCM professional staff. And CCM researchers are just getting started. I hope that video gave you an insight into the potential of Tuff and its applications. I'd like to thank the University of Delaware, my advisor, Professor Gillespie, and NASA ULI for the opportunity to work on such a great program. This program gives me opportunities to work on state-of-the-art technologies and characterization techniques that give me a background that makes myself uniquely marketable in my next stage of my life. I'm very fortunate to work on this program, which bridges basic to applied research with the potential of such great social economic impact.